We've had some gray skies today as uh, cloud cover has hindered some of our high temperatures. So not into the 70s today, a little bit more seasonal as we had high temperatures today stuck in those mid to lower 60s. We're right at 64 degrees downtown, 62 currently at RST. So as we look outside, this is our Lewis and Adel live camera, 62 degrees at the airport. We have winds out of the east at about six miles per hour. Our dew points lower 60s uh, too, so we could potentially run into some patchy fog tonight. I think we deal with some misty, some foggy conditions through the overnight hours tonight. We're tracking some light rain and uh, portions of Fillmore getting down into northeast Iowa this evening. Uh, Rainfall amounts will be pretty minor tonight, probably staying well under a quarter of an inch area wide as this low pesky low pressure system had talked about uh, the battle between the high pressure and the low pressure uh, the past uh, couple of nights. Well, that high is now well off to our east northeast. This low continues to move off to the north here, and we have that counterclockwise circulation around that low pressure. So what we're seeing off to our east normally our weather patterns move west to east. Now we're moving east to west here, so these showers continue to move back off to the west here tonight, and we'll deal with the chance for some isolated to scattered showers, mainly looking after about 10 o'clock tonight for any type of significant uh, rainfall amounts tonight. Going to have about a four to five hour window from about midnight until four or five o'clock in the morning. I do think uh, most of the afternoon tomorrow should be dry, should be able to watch those temperatures warm by tomorrow afternoon. So that low stays to the east with that low staying to the east. We'll get this backwards movement here with some of the precipitation. Very light, a nuisance type of shower. Might need that umbrella handy tomorrow morning. Some misty, very light to scattered showers likely tomorrow morning. Eventually we start to clear skies out. Notice the temperature difference. Mississippi River Valley compared to say Mason City and Albert Lee. Temperatures in the upper 70s, whereas where we have some cloud cover temperatures damped a little bit uh, down to the lower 70s. I I think we see a little sunshine get mid 70s in Rochester. Then Saturday <laughs> rolls around and watch temperatures here on future track. We should have some partly sunny skies, but temperatures could approach the upper 70s come Saturday afternoon. So well above average type conditions. We should be lower 60s this time of year. We could potentially approach 15 to 18 degrees above average coming up on Saturday. Those rainfall amounts tonight again, very minor. Some areas in blue here where we've already had some rainfall, say Waterloo into Decorah, maybe upwards of uh, three quarter or I should say a half inch to maybe a third of an inch of rain in some areas in blue. Other than that, most of us end up about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain overnight tonight. So your town forecast tonight overnight lows into those upper 50s. We really won't change much temperature wise due to the moisture that we have in the atmosphere so far tonight. So we'll stay upper 50s and lower 60s. Next three days, we'll end up seeing some sunshine late on on Friday. So some scattered showers probably until about eight, nine o'clock in the morning and then some sunshine 71 for the high this weekend. Looking pretty nice, warm, we'll have partly cloudy skies, comfortable on Sunday, mid to upper 70s possible coming up on Saturday. Temperatures change a little bit in the next week, so we're at 65 for the high Monday, chance for some scattered showers to start the work week off, and then 68, 67 both Tuesday and Wednesday. Overall temperatures start to fall down into the lower 60s by next Thursday. Mark? Up next in